What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alex Costa and I know a lot of you are still in school, whether it's middle school, high school or college. So today we're talking about style tips for the younger guys out there who want to look better and stand out from the rest. One of the things that I notice with younger guys, especially if you're going to school, is that you can be afraid of actually dressing up. So listen, the fact that your friends might not dress well should not keep you from looking good. And I know that sometimes guys think they're gonna get made fun of if they dress up, but the truth is, if they make fun of you because you look good, then more than likely they're just jealous. And they make it seem like they don't dress up because they don't want to, but in reality we know that they don't dress up because they don't know how to. Well guess what, you're here to learn and at some point I'm sure they're gonna come around as well, but being first is always better. So don't wait for them and don't be afraid of letting people know that you care about the way you look. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is invest in pieces that you can actually wear over and over again. For example, black jeans. Because we know that teens and students are usually on a budget, right? Well, you can literally wear the same pair of black jeans three days a week and people will never know. Just try not to wear them back to back, but honestly, even if you do, you can make your outfits look so different that no one would even notice that you're wearing the same jeans. And the same goes for basic t-shirts as well. Make sure you get some solid blacks, some whites, and then some of your favorite colors. That way you have a few options when you're building your outfits. Anything with a logo or graphics and you're not going to be able to wear it as much just because people will notice that it's the same t-shirt. So you can and you should have some of those, but you can't really get away with wearing them as often. You should also get some cheap accessories. That way you can add some interesting pieces to your outfit and stand out even more. Accessories make a boring outfit look pretty cool, so it's worth having a few options ready to go. Which brings us to our next tip. Don't be lazy. Don't wear the same outfit every day. You can get away with wearing the same jeans, but a different shirt, different accessories, but not the same exact outfit. Because I'm telling you, your friends will notice. Also, don't wear your comfy sweatpants to school that day just because it's raining outside and you're not in a great mood. We've all done it, right? Oh, I'm, I'm just kind of lazy today. I'm not really feeling like trying to find an outfit, so I'm just gonna throw this on and I'm good. Well, what if halfway through school, the day gets nice, the sun comes out, and then the girl that you like comes and just sits right next to you and you look like a mess. Look, we all know that girls like a guy who can dress well and you're gonna wish you dressed well that day. I know it because it happened to me, it was embarrassing and I learned my lesson. So it's okay and important to be comfortable but it doesn't mean you have to look bad. Just wear some soft jeans or if you're gonna wear sweatpants, at least get some nice fitting joggers that are trendy and will still make your legs look good. Next tip, let's talk about your hair. There are two extremes that you need to avoid, too messy or too perfect. And what I mean by that is that you have to find a hairstyle in between if you're going to school every single day. Too messy and it looks like you didn't wash your hair, which is bad, and too perfect and it could also look like you're trying too hard. So just find a cool hairstyle that you like and don't spend a crazy amount of time on it, especially since you have to wake up early already to go to school, right? You want this to be nice and easy. And I have a bunch of different hairstyle videos on this channel, so if you guys wanna go check them out and learn some different styles for your hair, some different haircuts, then just go check the description below this video and you can watch those videos right after this one. My next tip to you is don't spend too much money on clothes. You're young, you're probably on a budget, there's no need for you to go and spend all that money on the hottest Gucci slides right now or the coolest street style trends. And the truth is your style and your taste in clothes is actually going to change a lot in the next year. So from 16 to 18 it's going to change completely. From 18 to 21 again it's going to change completely. So if you spend a lot of money and you buy those really expensive trendy pieces right now, they might not even be cool next year. So that's why I say it's much better to invest in basics and classics because they will always work. There is no need to get expensive logos on your clothes. At the end of the day, if they fit you properly, you're golden. You can get $20 jeans and tailor them for 15 bucks, so $35 and you have the perfect form-fitting jeans that you can wear all year long. Oversized jeans are just not a good look, so I'd much rather get affordable jeans that fit properly than spend a lot of money on expensive jeans that don't. You can go to Zara, H&M, Forever 21, and then try to find online sales that can save you a lot of money. Black Friday is coming up, so you can just wait for that and then save a ton of cash. And if you're gonna wait until then to buy new shoes, make sure that yours are always clean. For some reason, don't ask me why, but girls always look at your shoes. So make sure you're using one of these cleaning kits like the Jason Mark or this one from Crep, for example, because 
because it's a good way to extend the life of your old sneakers without spending a lot of money. And that is how you can take your style to the next level without actually breaking the bank. And if you want to see how I put my outfits together, then you can just follow me on Instagram at Alex Costa. And also make sure to subscribe here to my YouTube channel because we're so close to 500,000 subscribers, which is like, it's pretty insane. That's, that's a lot of people. That's a half a million people. So thank you guys so much for being part of this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you're not missing my next videos. And thank you so much for watching this. I'll see you again very soon. Peace.